Have you ever met the connector? Well, he ponders, he helps, he creates, he writes, he speaks. He basically connects people and brings them together. I speak about Paul Solano of PS and All Marketing Group. At psandallmarketinggroup.com, you will receive an assembled group of Paul's contacts and connections that cross into many sectors of life. Please contact Paul Solano at 617-240-4130 or psandallmarketinggroup at gmail.com if you are in the market for a wide array of services. Again, please contact The Connecta, Paul Solano at 617-240-4130 or psandallmarketinggroup at gmail.com with any questions. And now... Here's Paul Solano, the host of Paul Ponders. Welcome to Paul Ponders. My name is Paul Solano of PS and All Marketing Group, and I may be reached via email at paul at paulponders.com. Thank you for joining me for my foray into podcasting. It is great to be collaborating with my friend and associate, Chalonzo Amos of PodPro Entertainment, to bring you some fun, exciting, and informative podcasts. For many years, I've been referred to as the connector, or in greater Boston circles, as the connector. With psandallmarketinggroup.com, I've created a side gate to connect you and get things done. Please sit back and relax and listen to today's podcast. If you are driving or operating heavy machinery and just listening, then please just listen and stay focused on your task at hand. Thanks again for listening. Enjoy my ponderings. Let hashtag Paul Ponders begin. Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of hashtag Paul Ponders. Again, a shout out to our sponsor for this episode, Scott Albertson. Hashtag ScottAlbertson.com. That's Scott with one T, S-O-N, and part of hashtag Project142.org with dedication around the nation. So, Scott, thank you for your sponsorship of this episode. Now, this episode, I'm just looking at revisiting the five-step marshmallow plan. If you hark back to episode number 14, we talked about the five-step marshmallow plan, but I also made special mention, and I get a lot of comments to this day, about the part of the five-step marshmallow plan where I talk about that immediate gratification and the wanting to, you know, just get everything. And I'll work on this, um, on this five-step plan in a few minutes, but I just want to, um, just re- reflect back and just refresh your memories on, it was the Boston Celtics against the Miami Heat. It was that game seven when the Celtics came out firing three-pointers looking for that immediate gratification. And um, so many people have picked up on this where I went clank, 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 clank. And it just went on and on because the Celtics were throwing up all those three pointers and they didn't hit a one because they were looking for the immediate gratification. Well, fast forward one year later, the Boston Celtics are the world champions. And they deviated from the need to go for those three-pointers. They started to change their game plan. And congratulations to them, by the way. Uh, Great job, great season. We're the world champions, and we're looking for another one next year. We're looking for that immediate gratification of winning two in a row, of repeating, and not going for... uh, for the the use of the term that Pat Riley has coined, but you know, three in a row would be nice too. But anyways, do we have a dynasty? Well, let's look at the five-step marshmallow plan. Number one, what do you need to change? Well, the Celtics really did change a few things um, over the past year. And by the way, am I getting a playoff share? Do they all listen to my hashtag Paul Ponders podcast? That's eh, wishful thinking, but I doubt it. So what do you need to change? What do the Celtics change? What strategies can you implement right now to stop eating your marshmallows? Well, 
if you want to go back and listen to or hear for the first time, go listen to episode number 14. And that's what I um, pretty much talked about. You can hear the basis. So this way of getting you to go listen to that podcast if you haven't already done so. And what will you commit to changing? That's part of the first part of the five-step marshmallow plan. What will you commit to changing? Well, the Celtics definitely committed to changing things in the off-season, last off-season, and we saw what the results reaped. And congratulations to them again. What are your strengths and weaknesses? What do you need to improve upon, and how can you best make these improvements? Well, Brad Stevens went out and you know he did some, made some off-season moves, trading for Drew Holiday. Addition by subtraction. Yeah, went out, got Porzingis, made those moves. Just tremendous. Number three, what are your major goals? Pick at least five and write them down, and then write down what you need to do to attain those goals. Well, the Celtics, the coach Missoula, really um, came up with some goals. Their goal was to get into the championship finals, their goal was to win it all. They knew they could do it but they really um, just wrote down those goals and they never stopped believing in themselves. Number four, what is your plan? Put it in writing. If you can't see a goal, you can't achieve it. Well, the Celtics all season long were looking for Banner 18. They did it. I see that um, they just had that plan. They stayed with it. They kept on reinforcing it. And uh, they made it happen. Number five, what are you going to do to put your plan into action? What will you commit to during um, the day today, tomorrow, next week, next year to help reach your goals? Just make it happen. And the Celtics certainly did. So no more clanking. Only great, great things. I could hear the swish. Peyton Pritchard hitting two wonderful three-pointers at the end of a half, the end of a quarter, making it happen. I see JB, Jalen Brown, making that huge, huge three-pointer to force the game into overtime in the Indiana series. That was huge. And I guess you live by the sword, you die by the sword, as they say, the three-pointers. But, you know, the Celtics did more this year than just take three-pointers. They worked the ball around. They had teamwork. They made it happen. And congratulations to them. Uh, episode number 14, we'll pay homage to Bob Cousy, number 14. I don't know what number episode this is right now, but all I know is that we got banner number 18. And congratulations, Boston Celtics. And you lived up and you tweaked the five-step marshmallow plan. Oh, and by the way, that number six, the sixth step, persevere. Do not give up. Boston Celtics, do not give up in your pursuit of getting banner number 19. Hashtag indeed. I trust that you have enjoyed hashtag Paul Ponders. Again, my name is Paul Solano of PS and All Marketing Group, and I may be reached via email at paul at paulponders.com to do some more pondering. Many thanks to my longtime collaborative friend and associate, Alonzo Amos of Pod Pro Entertainment, in bringing you our fun, exciting, and informative podcast. You rock, Techie Chalonzo. With PNS and All Marketing Group, I created a side gig to connect you and get things done. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me at paul at paulponders.com with any questions. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Paul Ponders. Follow us on Twitter at Paul Ponders Pod. Follow us on Instagram at Paul Ponders Podcast. Thank you again for listening to Hashtag Paul Ponders, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, our website, paulponders.com, or wherever you stream your podcasts. Subscribe, stream, rate, and review our shows. Your ratings and reviews help our show reach new audiences. Produced by Pod Pro Entertainment. 
hashtag Paul Pondas lives within a network of podcasts located at podproentertainment.com. Hashtag the new radio. Until we meet again, my friend, stay well. Hashtag indeed.